Hi everyone, this is I, and today I'm going to show you how to use the update column function in MapInfo Pro. So MapInfo Pro allows you to update a field uh, from an editable table or query by either using a selected string of data or with data from a second table. And the way it obtains the data of a second table is based on a join or another relationship between these two tables. In this example, I'm going to add a new column called my row ID. Uh, in an editable table and with the secret numbers from the MapInfo Pro row ID statement. So let's see how we can do this. So I've got my USA sample data open that ships with MapInfo Pro. So let's go to table, tab first, and then table, modify structure and maintenance. I'm gonna select my USA table. And what I'm gonna do is add in a new field that we can update. Uh, and I'm gonna call mine my underscore row ID. I'm going to make it an integer because I'm going to populate it with a count um, and that's going to bump that up. Now we can see my row ID there. So let's see how we can use the update column command. So again if we're on the table tab we go to edit and update column and this gives us options here. So the first question it asks us is which table do you want to update? Why not update the USA table with that column we just created? So let's go USA, and now in the column to update drop down list, we'll have all the available columns. So let's choose my row ID. Get value from table. We're going to use the USA table uh, as the basis to update our column because we want to use the row ID statement. So what we can do now is you click in the value, get rid of the contents. You can either click on assist here to bring up the expression dialog box and then you can manually choose your columns, operators, any functions. Well, I'm just going to use the row ID function. So I'm going to pop that in here. Click OK. As you can see that's updated the column with the row ID for each particular row in this table. So that's how you can update a column with a sequence of numbers uh, in MapInfo Pro. So let's look at another option we've got for updating a column. Let's update a column that contains characters. So again if we go to the table tab and then go to edit and update column. Table to update, still USA. Um, let's choose column. So let's choose state. Again we're going to just get the value from table USA um, and then we put our own ID in here. So what I'm going to put in is I'm just going to say XY. And one thing to note here is when you do update uh, a column that contains characters is just to have the uh, quotation marks around there. So I'm going to put XY. If I click OK on here, wait a few seconds and we can see that's updated the state column with the um, characters we put in which in this case was X and Y. So let's look at doing a geographic join this time instead. So I'm going to add in a, a new column. So again if we go to table and then maintenance and then table and modify structure and we're going to modify the USA table again. Uh, it will save the change we did earlier. And uh, Now I'm going to put one in which is going to be called US underscore city underscore count because we're going to do a count of cities and uh, we're going to make that again an integer so it's going to be a count. Click OK and as you can see we've got a US underscore city underscore count. So now we need to update the column with some information. So if we go to the table tab and edit and go to update column. So we're looking to update USA table again column we're going to update is that new one we've just changed, so that's US city count. But this time, uh, rather than using USA as, a, as the table to get the value from, I'm going to select the city 125 which contains a list of uh, USA, US cities. And if we click join, this brings us up the specify join window and we've got two options. We've got this join here, uh, we can say where something from a column in table USA matches something from a column in table city underscore 125 but I want to specify this second option where object from table city 125 
is within objects from Tab USA. So what I'm saying is essentially is I the cities I've got listed in city one two five, I want to do a join where the cities intersect with the actual region objects for each county in Table USA. And then when I've got those, I want to do a count. So a count in how many cities appear in each particular county. Now if I click on OK, as you can see, that's updated our US city count column. And that shows us how many cities are in each state. So we've essentially created a relationship between the two tables, um, which says which cities fall into which state between the two tables. So let's look at a slightly different join. Let's do a common join um, where we can link two tables together by values in fields from each table. So if we go to the table tab and then go to edit and update column. So we're still updating the USA table. We're still going to update the US underscore city underscore count column. But I just want to change the join here. So rather than using the uh, the where object from, let's go here. I'm going to say where the state field from table USA matches the state from the table city underscore one two five, um, and then we can do a count of how many cities then will fall in that particular state and do OK. And again, that's going to be obviously the same city count, but we've just a different way of establishing the relationship. So that's how you can use the update column command in Map Info Pro. Thanks for watching.